Right, I'm just going to do a, a video talking about uh, the new. It's, this this video is is specifically for the new players, but if you're not a new player, then just um, keep listening. I'm going to talk about stuff. Um, I'm going to talk about new player stuff, but I'm also going to talk about stuff from the live stream. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then there was a live stream that Commander Sirius did. He did a six hour live stream where he talked about the new player experience. He went into detail about it. He talked about it and he brought up topics and stuff. Now this wasn't just him doing a live stream for the fun of it. He was doing it so that devs in the future and in a couple, in a couple of months, I think in a couple of months time, they're looking at doing new player stuff. This is what I, I gather from the stream. Now I could be wrong, but um, they're bringing out a new player update. They're going to look at new player um, stuff. They're going to try and aim a tutorial towards new players. So they're trying to look at some of the trends that are happening in Planet Side and try and fix them. So one of the things that came up, so Commander Sirius asked us to fill out a form. Um, it was like a survey just to see what issues were out there and, you know, what they could do to fix them or, or talk about them. Now... It was a six hour live stream, so it's pretty long. But one of the things that came up or, or kept coming up was uh, I emptied an entire mag into them and they didn't die, but I die with two bullets. Now, when you look at the new player, most of them think like that. Now, most, you know, when, when I speak to new players, some of them have issues logging into the game via Sentry, they can't get out of Sentry. Some of them have issues with, um, you know, redeploying on the maps, things like that. But generally, you know, when it comes to gunplay, they struggle to kill anything and they will often say, oh, this guy's hacking. Or, yeah, that guy might be using something because he keeps killing me in two bullets. That guy over there, I've shotgunned him, but he's killed me in two bullets. Yeah, they're using all their OP guns themselves, but not getting results. Like they're using shotgun. They feel the need to use shotgun because they can't get a kill. They feel the need to use heavy weapons, like the heavy weapon shotgun that we get for NC. Um, they start using stuff like um, heavy shotgun. They start going around using heavy shotgun. They start pulling max at every base because they're going against sweats. Now, in the live stream, they were talking about certain things to do with new players and one of the things that they said now i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you about this they said that if you need to kill sweats don't be afraid to pull maxes um, don't be afraid to pull all the shitty stuff in order to kill the sweats now um that's good and bad but what i'm gonna say is as a new player when you're coming in a planet side one thing you should be doing which is really op you should be hitting headshots. Planet Side is a headshot game. It relies on people hitting headshots. It relies on people chaining headshots on multiple characters. So like if someone comes out a corner and there's two people, you're, you're trying to set yourself up so that you can get the two kills by aiming for the head. Now you aim for the head on one guy, you, you aim for the head on the other guy. You narrow down angles you peak all this stuff comes into it when you're talking about you know being a becoming a better player what you're not going to do or what you're not going to achieve by pulling max is to become a better player you're not going to get used to hitting headshots you're not going to get used to gunplay you're not going to get used to movement you're not going to get used to hiding behind stuff and peeking all this stuff comes into being a good player now Things I would recommend new players to do is to come into VR or Cold Tier. Cold Tier is quite good. And just keep aiming for headshots. Just get, just get used to the feel of it. So you're moving around like this. You're waiting. You could even peek around corners like this. Now, granted, my aim's a bit off, but you know, that's what you need to be doing. Now, headshots give you a two times multiplier. Two times multiplier. That's a big difference. When you aim for body shots on someone that's not got nano weave, I think it's around four shots, I think. 
and then with nano eve you end up adding a, an extra three shots onto that so it ends up becoming um i think seven overall now i'm going to post up something um basically talking about this but the two things you need to take from this if you don't take anything else is that headshots do two times damage people will always this is good players good players will always aim for the head they played for many years they hit the head always when they're fighting you they might spin around in a circle they might do breakdance moves they might do the splits they might do cartwheels but at the end of the day they're eventually going to have to aim for the head if they're going to kill you now there's certain ways to deal with people that spin around but that's for not for the diff not for this video for this video i want you to take away the fact that people aim for headshots and that people use nano eve now nano eve armor as you can see here it costs one cert to buy so as you can see if i go to light assault i haven't bought it yet so to buy nano eve is one cert that is probably the best one cert you're gonna spend in a lifetime on planet side now they're saying about taking away nano eve they're saying about taking it away they're saying about getting rid of it um for me that's totally fine i mean i play engineer anyway the worst class in the game when it comes to pvp but nano eve is strong everybody knows it's strong and everybody uses it so you need to get yourself on the level pegging field you know level playing field get yourself a heavy assault get yourself nano eve now yes you might read about people using stuff like flak armor and you might have somebody who uses advanced shield capacitor or something like that i don't know you know i'm talking about heavy assaults or pvp classes in particular the one thing you want to be using instead of flak armor and advanced shield capacitor grenade bandola or whatever you want to be using nano eve you want to be buying so when you look at nano eve just one sec when you look at nano eve the first one is one cert cert is what you use in game now cert is obviously you gain it by experience points it's not daybreak daybreak is a paid thing that you use for cosmetics just to get that out of there because i know there's a lot of confused people nano weave armor cost you one cert cert is what you earn in game if you look in the top corner i have 49 daybreak cash and i have zero certs that is your certs if you look in the top right corner one cert that's all it costs after that it becomes 10 certs and i'm not sure i think it's about 30 certs after that or 50 certs you only need three levels of it you don't need to go maxing it out you don't need to go spending a thousand certs when you max it out all it will give you is 20 percent damage reduction to anti-material rifles you don't need 20 percent da um, damage reduction from anti-material rifles because nobody uses them because they're rubbish so don't go wasting a thousand certs that will you don't even i mean i'm i've bought literally most if not all guns for nc I've bought everything everything here on my other account the one thing i haven't bought is max nano eve waste of a thousand certs really is so let's have a look so what can you do to train with um when you train hit and headshots now one thing you need to get into your head is the fact that settings sensitivity and aim sensitivity are your friend they are the best things since sliced bread you need to adjust these in order to get better aim so infantry sensitivity you start off around five i think you start off around five i go down to 3.5 aim sensitivity or four depending and infantry sensitivity i will generally lower it to three five or four depending sometimes i will have it at seven just depends what I, class i'm using what i'm doing just depends but you need to find your sensitivity that will help you get kills better it will help you um, chain headshots so your gun's not going all over the place second thing you want to do is get your infantry controls to cover this is because when you're fighting 
like this you're looking down your sight you could probably duck once in a blue moon like this I'm not saying run up to him like this don't jump over the haystack and be like hey bro like this spamming whatever you look like an idiot and people are going to call you out on it they're going to be like oh this guy's spam crouching spamming spamming crouch oh okay, great you know what you should be doing is aiming down the site trying to hit the headshot and ducking occasionally the reason why you duck when the enemy is shooting you is because they have a high chance to hit you in the head if you duck sometimes they may miss and you might be able to get the kill you never know so training for headshots is something that comes with time you're not going to learn it you know you're not going to learn it straight off the bat another thing you want to be getting is laser sight forward grip is good but laser sight is a must now when you have a heavy assault you could also buy it on the gore saw the laser sight it's not great but again it's what it is so let me talk about the heavy assault quick just because a lot of people on this server in particular on series play heavy assault now there's a lot of people out there that are really really good heavy assault mains they main heavy assault they would never play any other class they would only play heavy they would go around and they would absolutely mess you up now don't think too negative about it you know don't worry about it getting messed up it happens you know normally there's only one fight on the map so you're going to get messed up you're going to get the sweats coming at you killing you what i say to people is try and find an organized outfit try and group up try and stick together try and um, help each other out you know planet side is a massive game it's a massive you know open world you can have 10 guys rush through a doorway you know and you're just one guy trying to defend the point you're not going to be able to defend against 10 guys no matter how hard you try these could be the worst 10 i mean yeah granted if you've been playing like i don't know eight years you learn how to chain headshots you could probably go in a room and clear out probably four or five guys but realistically as a new player you're not going to do that you're not going to you know you're not going to go in a room and start killing everybody you know so try and group up with friends you know try and try and squad up with friends have a have a heavy and a medic you know so with the heavy assault guns wise the gore saw is really really good it's a really good gun to use you just have to get used to hitting headshots that's all it is if you can't hit headshots with this weapon you're going to be outgunned you're going to get people hitting you in the head killing you one or two times in the head and they're just going to blast you and you're still there with your gore saw trying to make it work you're thinking well their gun's op my gun isn't it's not the fact that they've got a better gun it's not the fact that you've got a worse gun every gun's relatively balanced it's the fact that you don't chain headshots now let me give you an example here right so if you shoot this guy in the head oh press the trigger there just let me kill him a sec so just one sec wait for him to spawn back oh could use this guy actually one two three so if you aim for this guy one two three so it takes three shots to hit him in the head when you aim for body shots one two three four five so it takes five shots to kill them now that's not including nano weave these bots do not have nano weave on so you have to take that into consideration when you're shooting at somebody you need to take into consideration nano weave because nano weave is going to save you in most situations now until they get rid of it that is going to cause you a lot of problems if you can't hit headshots you're going to have to aim for the body and if they're hitting headshots they're going to actually kill you a lot sooner than you can really kill them a hell of a lot sooner it's going to kill them in three bullets you're going to take two extra bullets it doesn't sound a lot but it is when you put nano weave on because nano weave makes it seven bullets now this particular gun this gore saw has a 200 damage model so you're looking at it you're saying right the gore saw has 200 damage yeah but that doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything if you can't hit your target 
if you can hit your target and hit headshots it becomes a beast it becomes a laser it's really good you just need to get good at hitting headshots now using stuff like shotgun and stuff like manx is good like it's going to get you some kills but if you really want to improve you need to get out of the shotgun meta and the max meta like you see people running around with heavy shotgun the best thing to do with heavy shotgun is keep your distance and aim for the head with the gorsal if you hit them in the head you can down them before they really get a chance to hit get a hit on you really get a chance to hit their weapon now there's loads of videos i could throw out there um you know showing you what to do but it comes down to you and it comes down to practice that's all it comes down to so in this live stream he was talking about people that die in two bullets but then can't kill the enemy or they waste the whole mag on them this is why you're wasting the whole mag on them now not necessarily the gore saw because the gore saw has 100 rounds if you wasted 100 rounds on them yeah they would die but i mean if you had something like um say something like the mercenary right? if you start shooting them like this they're zipping around you end up missing a few times you try and kill them there you go you kill them in the end it takes a full clip you know sometimes with nano eve you 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 hit them a bunch of times and they just don't die you f it feels like that but it's not like that in reality and it's not the fact that they have op guns or they it just, they just practice more they just know what they're doing they've just played the game for years to get to that level you need to scrim you could do scrims you need to um, come into vr and practice headshots look at people on youtube and get a general idea for what they are doing look at the way they move there's a few people who play ps4 who are actually really good and you can learn a lot of them you know you can also message people message people that are really good and say look i want to improve in planet side you know um can you give me you know have you got 10 minutes to just give me a quick uh, rundown of what i'm going to be doing they will tell you their way of thinking and the way they play everybody's approachable in planet side planet side is a small community of guys and girls that come together you know to make to make the server fun you know we try and cut the bm out we try and cut all the nonsense out we try and get new players on the game and we try and enjoy planet side for what it is you know they talked about stuff in um they talked about stuff in the live stream like running open platoons they talked about stuff like um having mentor squads they talked about reducing the headshot damage so that um when you shoot a headshot it doesn't do two times damage to one times instead stuff like that is kind of mm, a bit iffy when it comes to planet side because planet side two times headshots in planet side is i think it's always going to be a thing i don't think they should take that away they did say about taking nano eve away in the future and how it would have an impact and talked about it a little bit that is a good thing i think that will do really well i think most new players will be able to kill someone sooner but somebody with headshots would be able to do more would still be able to do the same amount of damage so it wouldn't affect veterans too much so i mean it's down to you and what you think really i mean obviously people voted about certain things um in the survey i think he's still keeping the survey open for people who want to do it i'm going to link the video down below in the description and hopefully i can explain um hopefully that'll explain what i'm talking about now when you talk about nano eve um if you go onto reddit right now you will see a discussion called nano eve is even stronger than you think this is why i talked about nano eve in the video i was actually going to do this video about you know a couple of days after the initial video came out for commander series but he talks about in this post this planet side post he talks about um four headshots three headshots he talks about all the stuff that um gets missed when using nano eve and how strong it can be um i'm gonna put a link to that post down below now is it he put it up nine hours ago so you could check that out um you will see that nano eve is much more than you think basically and why you should be equipping it so yeah but 
again you know if you're a new player don't worry too much you know it's it's hard to get into the game it's really complicated game to play you know just stick with it and if you need advice in the meantime feel free to comment on my video try and help you out if you need to find me in game my name is commando with two o's if you look for the n151 group or squad we can help you if you need any help and you're on nc feel free to message me you know um if i'm on i'll give you advice invite you into the squad that sort of thing um we don't run so many open squads recently because of a lot of trolling especially from certain people on the on on planet side they feel the need to come into our squads and grief us sometimes so we don't run so many open squads we want to be able to do that in the future but every time we run open squads we get somebody join us playing music down their mic spamming hate slurs and all the rest of it it's just not needed right i'm going to leave the video there i, I talked about all i needed to talk about but um yeah any questions pop them in the comments now you don't have to subscribe to me um i'm i don't know how long i'm going to be doing these videos and tutorials I'm just trying to get people interested in planet side if we get a plus one to population that's good by me so yeah anyway i hope you had a good day guys and i'll see you